Hi, and welcome to the W.B. Mason's Coaches Show. I'm Christopher Detweiler, joined by Hofstra women's head coach, head basketball coach, uh, Krista kilburn Silvesky. How are you doing today, Coach? Good, Chris. How are you? Good, thanks. Uh, so, first question, uh, Krista Luciano had a great game, first triple-double in program history the other day against UNCW. Take me through her game. Uh, I was just so happy for her uh, to have the offensive connection that she had. You know, she has been playing heady games, and she has to you know, run the program and run the ship for us, but, uh, you know, her offensive rhythm got back in, in the game. I thought she played a good game. She turned the ball over knee line, even though she's mad at herself with that. I told her she still had a good floor game trying to help us and put us in a great position to win. Um, and, but then just to have that awesome offensive rhythm at Wilmington, we just playing on all cylinders. We had four good quarters, and she just really led that punch. Great. Um, tough loss against Elon, too, yeah. uh, last Sunday. Um, you guys played well. You had a higher uh, free throw percentage, field goal percentage, and three-point uh, shooting percentage, right. but you still couldn't get the win. What went wrong there? Well, um, you know, we uh, there was a lot of things that went wrong. <laughs> uh, we played a great game. Uh, we started off rough in the first quarter, but guess what? We didn't end the quarter. Um, you know, being uh, down by you know 10 or 15 point margin, we did. We we got down a lot in the beginning, and we battled back and finished that quarter strong. And then we had three good quarters after that, and then we beat them in the second half too. Uh, we only shot seven free throws on their floor to, to their almost 30. Um, it was a very physical game. They are the physical team, the most physical team in the league. And uh, you know, the game was hard to be controlled. It was just it just wasn't controlled in our favor. I'll just leave it at that. Um, but then we still had every chance to win, you know. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, got a little hot and heated down the last two minutes of, of, the, of the game, and uh, you know, it just uh, you know it shouldn't have happened that way. But uh, you know, it, you know, like the, like the team said, somebody's got to fight for us, um, and uh, you know, we uh, we'll get them when it counts. So, you know, we're just trying to gear ourselves up as we get ready for conference tournament, just taking you know one game at a time when our next opponent is Towson. But just very proud. It's proud of the effort. I think I, that's what I talked about before the game, um, you know, before the Elon game. I told this team, I said, you guys have had a ton of character in, in a tough season. Um, you know, people don't want to know when it's tough. You know, people only want to be cheering for you when you're winning. You know, they don't realize when you graduate six people. You know, nobody wants to talk about that, right? And we don't either, because this is what sports teach you. Teach you. you have to fight, you have to move forward, and you have to fill the gaps in. Um, but, you know, I've said it all year long uh, that you have two kids that started this season. Uh, Crystal Luciano and Ashanae Durant are your two most experienced people. You have three role players in Aliana and Sid and Olivia Askin who have just come along fantastic and, and tried to go from a role-playing spot to someone that can give you some consistency. And then you sprinkle in all your freshmen that have to have game experience and they have to learn what it's like to play in the CAA and that, that are coming from being overseas and playing, you know, people from Finland and from the Grand Canary. So I've said that if you go back to all of my coaches shows, I just talked about how proud. So what does this mean? Why am I saying this now? Because that's what I told them going into the Elon game about how proud of their character because losing doesn't define you, failure doesn't define you. It's how you pick yourself back up. It's how you keep fighting. It's how you know you are as a person, as an individual. And I felt like they fought and played so well this whole weekend. And I felt like we did that from even to home JMU. You know, I think we've been playing better basketball since then. We just necessarily hadn't gotten all the wins and losses. So, you know, it's unfortunate that we live in a society that with social media and you know, you know what it is. It's the, it's the final score. So what you as a coach are telling people how great they're doing, even if they're not getting the final effort. And and and, I, and they and they believe it, and they played their, their tails off, and, and went one and one in a weekend, you know, on the road on a truck a tough uh, travel schedule. So just very proud of them, and that's what I, I talked a lot about before the game, after the game, Elon, and then obviously before the Wilmington game, and then especially proud of them after the Wilmington game. So. Yeah. You mentioned Ashne Durant as yeah. a veteran on the team. Right. You know, she's averaging a double double. She's playing three. <clears throat> um, what does that mean for? not only the younger players on the team, but even the other veterans who, who kind of look up to her and see her yeah. playing well and, and want to play that way as well. I was talking to my staff this morning, you know, Crystal Luciana gets uh, co-player of the week in the CA, which was massively well-deserved. I think Ashanae has gotten one and the kids average in a double-double. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's really, you know, you're supposed to be uh, paying attention to the type of quality of the kids you have, you know, and maybe some of the record is not, uh, you know, going in their favor. So it's just very interesting, you know, I've got, 
a lot of really good kids in this program, but I got two really solid ones being carrying her, and you're talking about Nay right now. It's just a little bit of a travesty. The kid is extremely talented, and she's had to just completely change her role even more to be, you know, the forefront of the program, and she's handling it, and she's coming into her role now, and it takes a while. You know, everybody is so quick to judge, and she's got to take the game over, and Crucial's got to take the game over, and that's what they got to do from their start of, you know, their, you know, Crystal's senior year, start of Nay's junior year, you know, it, it, as much as you want to say something, it takes a while for those kids to learn how, you know, to, 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 to take that role. You know, and, I, and nobody knows unless they're involved in sport and practicing every day and traveling and studying and on the road and, you know, all the trials and tribulations of a student athlete. So just very proud of Bajene. Yeah. So, so earlier in the season, uh, you guys lost a heartbreaker to Northeastern. Uh, but you get to see them again yeah. when the regular season ends. What, what a couple you, games away. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do a little differently uh, in that game to kind of get you over that hump and maybe win that OT? Well, we're going to beat Towson first. <laughs> I mean, we have Towson and Drexel before we get to Northeastern. So, I mean, we really we really got to focus on those first. So, we'll, we'll count that, and I'll talk to you after we after we beat them. And uh, we talk next, maybe next Thursday. Uh, so, we just need to take care of, you know, our small goals have just been the next game. And then just if we can just win each next game one at a time, and then just see how the standings fall, and that's all we can do right now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you mentioned Towson. That's your next yeah. game. Uh, you did beat them earlier in the season, uh, yeah. fairly handily. Um, you know, it's a home game this time. Uh, what what can continue to go your way against Towson? Yeah. Again, and we just have to play. We've been playing, you know, this past weekend, and just keep that energy level on our home floor. Um, you know, hopefully I have a few people in the stands so we can have some energy because that, that definitely affects our energy. Um, if not, we just have to recreate it for ourselves and then, uh, you know, just take care of business with them. There's really no secret. It's been a while since we played them. It's a long time ago. So, um, you know, we got to take care of business. Two out of three last games of yours are home. Yeah. Uh, what does that mean for you guys to be in front of the home crowd and uh, have them train? Yeah, it was finally, I mean, it, you know, we I, I can't complain too much because we've had, in 11 years, we've had, um, you know, pretty good travel schedule, but this has been the toughest for us. Um, I really haven't had two home games, um, I think, yet this season, right? This is our first two home games stand. So, uh, you know, it's been brutal. So that's another thing that, you know, you don't take into consideration and, and nobody does, right? It's the win-lose record. Um, so we're just glad to be home this week. Let them get caught up in their studies because then we have to go away next week and then we go away the following week for the tournament. So, um, you know, nobody gives them any breaks with their professors and, and things like that too so it's good that they're really you know no, no school today and yesterday so then they get wednesday thursday friday um go to class on you know monday and tuesday and then we'll leave um after class on tuesday and then you know be back for the rest of the week and then and they're going to miss a lot the following week like i said so you know it's just um you know it's just focusing and, and just being us and getting ready to be happy to be at home <laughs> very happy to be at home Great. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. And thanks for watching the WB Mason's, Mason's Cushions show with uh, Hofstra head women's basketball coach Krista Kilburn-Silvesky. <laughs>